Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lesson, we'll talk about the quality and the quantity of the sludge produced as a result of different waste for treatment processes and the units utilized in this approach. Obviously, sludge is almost always produced by uh, using different units of waste for treatment systems and uh, depending on the system utilized and the strategy applied, the sludge quantity can be low or high and the water quantity present in the sludge can also be low or high as well as the other properties of the sludge also depend on the type of strategy used for the wastewater treatment system. So uh, sludge obviously uh, is of big concern because we have to dispose of sludge ultimately. So it depends on the properties of the sludge how we are going to dispose it of and it is also depends on the water content and the microorganisms present in the sludge that whether the sludge needs to be treated before disposal or not. Now the sludge period, the storage period has a lot of uh, uh, effect on the properties of the sludge because uh, the more it is stored, the more it will be uh, thickened, the more water will be vaporized and removed and uh, the more organic matter will be degraded and it will be stabilized. So the longer it is stored, the more its properties are changed. Now sludges are removed in intervals of weeks, months, years or decades and uh, usually are thick and already stabilized or digested uh, in context of organic matter. So you can see here that if we store it for longer periods of times, it will be more stabilized and it will be more thickened and less water content will be there. However, we cannot always store sludge for longer periods of times. It depends on the type of strategy that we are using to treat the wastewater. Now we will discuss in tabular form the frequency of removal treatment stages and characteristics of the sludge generated according to various treatment processes. So you can see here that uh, we will start with the primary treatments that is septic tank and uh, conventional primary treatment and advanced primary treatment and you can see here the sludge remover interface from the liquid phase that uh, uh, about how much time the primary sludge is removed and about how much time the biological sludge is removed you can see here there is no as such production of biological sludge in these treatments. And then you can see that uh, these are the usual stages of sludge processing. For example, you can see here that in case of primary treatment, primary sludge is produced and then it is dewatered and then finally it is disposed of. So depending on the system utilized, the sludge will be removed accordingly after a given period of time and then uh, it will be further treated to remove the water and so on. Moreover, you can also see here the quality of the sludge and the different uh, parameters for example you can see here that in case of liquid sludge produced by these systems before dewatering uh, the dry soil level the sludge mass and the sludge volume are given in this table and you can see here these actually change once the sludge is dewatered so we have already discussed that the sludge ko dispose of karne se pehle kafi usme hame processes apply karne padte hain taki uska disposal easy ho aur applicable ho usme one of the processes is dewatering of the sludge Moving on with further systems, you can see here that we have faculty ponds, the anaerobic ponds and other such lagoons and ponds. And you can see here there is no as such production of primary sludge, but there is production of biological sludge. Why so? Because all these systems actually utilize microorganisms to degrade and to stabilize the organic content present in the wastewater. So obviously biological processes are operating and the sludge thus produced will be called as biological sludge. And then you can see here the biological sludge is mostly dewatered before its final disposal. And then you can see for the same systems the uh, liquid sludge properties and the dewatered sludge properties. Again you can see here the level of uh, dry solids, the sludge mass and the volume of the liquid sludge as well as the dewatered sludge. We will not go into details of uh, all these parameters. Moving on to other systems, for example you can see here we have slow rate treatment systems, rapid infiltration, overland flows and wetlands as well as the septic tanks. You can see here the period of storage is only of months and, and then the dewatering process operate and these are the further properties and parameters of these systems. Moving on to UASB reactors, we have all the reactors before we have in the lessons. Mein. So we are not going to discuss in detail all of these reactors. But you can see here again in these reactors biological sludge is produced which is you can see here almost continuously uh, removed after weeks and it is not stored for longer periods of times. We have properties in discuss properties when we discussed in different lessons. Mein discuss tha. And you can see here 
द बायोलॉजिकल स्लैज इज प्रोड्यूस विच इज पास थ्रू द रिवॉर्टिंग प्रोसेस बिफोर फाइनल डिस्पोजल अगेन दीज आर द पैरामीटर्स ऑफ दीज यू एस बी रेक्टर्स एंड डेरेवेटिव ना हमने अपने लेसन्स में जब यू एस बी को हम जिक्र कर रहे थे तो हमने ये देखा था कि उनको हम डिफरेंट स्ट्रेटजीज से उनको एड कर सकते हैं उनका ग्रुप बना सकते हैं कपलिंग सिस्टम बना सकते हैं जिससे हम ज्यादा एफिशियंसी अचीव कर सकते हैं ऑफ वेस्ट पाउटर रिमूवल सो यू कैन सी है यू एस बी रेक्टर्स आर बींग कनेक्टेड विद अदर यूनिट्स एंड टू अचीव हाई एफिशियंसी ऑफ वेस्ट पाउटर ट्रीटमेंट एंड अगेन द बायोलॉजिकल स्लर्ज इज ऑनली रिमूव आफ्टर वीक्स ऑफ टाइम नॉट लॉन्गर अगेन कंटिन्यूंग विद दीज सिस्टम्स वी कैन सी हेयर डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दिस सिस्टम्स